Diversity on Board is a rather simple project. And what it does, it tries to ensure that the people who live, work and play in the Greater Toronto Area are actually reflected in positions of power and influence. Because what we found was that our city is very diverse, but our leadership is not. So it addresses this disconnect by connecting individuals from visible minority backgrounds to organizations who are looking for board members. So we find those individuals, we train them, we assess them, and we facilitate the appointment between the board and the individual. So it's a ready pool of qualified individuals for boards. And we've been fairly successful to date. We've got over 1,600 candidates who are qualified to serve on boards and are trained. We've got 650 organizations who post their vacancies for board members with us. And we've made about 700 appointments to organizations from small NGOs to hospitals, universities, to provincial state agencies and local municipalities, committees of council. We, we did a project called Diversity Counts because we wanted to have a program based on evidence, based on fact. And we looked at the region, which is 49.5% visible minority, and what we found was that only 13% of individuals, of leaders, who serve on boards were visible minorities. So this showed a huge disconnect between the people who live there and the people who are in positions of power and influence. And this urged us to take action, to do something about it. And because the data is so strong, with respect to the impact that diversity and leadership makes. We wanted to wake the city up to the power of diverse leadership and utilize the talent, the experience, the, the energy that these people bring to ensure that our city region is strong, is prosperous, that there's social cohesion, and people feel included in the decision-making that affects them. In Canada, visible minority means people who are non-white. Um, and I know that probably in Sweden, you will refer to that as migrants, primarily. It's other places they say cultural diversity, other places they say ethnic diversity, um, but it really refers to those who are non-white. And what our, our census data is telling us is that by 2031, the Toronto area will be 63% visible minority, so they'll be in the majority. I think Sweden can learn quite a bit from us um, in that we share similar histories. We're both, we both have immigrants coming to our country or city who want to make this their home. And I think what we've learned from the program is that people who come here to make it their home, they want to contribute, they want to give back, they want to be part of the city, they don't want to be excluded. Um, they don't want to form you know, their separate um, non-inclusive non areas. So it, it, it contributes to social cohesion People get involved in their community, whether it's you know, on a condominium board or on a daycare center, they want to contribute. And what we've also found, which then Sweden can learn as well, is the how that we've done it, so you don't recreate the wheel. We did it with partnerships. We got individuals from various sectors, the business sector, the government sector, the NGO sector, the private sector, to get together. Um, to talk about, talk about first and then take action on how do we build an inclusive society and that model works. So I think Sweden can learn um, from us in terms of how we did it, which was successful, and then of course tailor it to your own local context. Well, it may not be very innovative, but it's not done. So I think people just working together.
to make, you know, to come to a common goal, to come to a common end. We tend to work in silos a lot. So if people can work together, great things happen. Innovation happens then because people think out of the box. They think creatively. Yeah. And there's another thing called collective impact as well. Mm. What is where that? Collective impact is where it takes various sectors to really to work collectively for change because systemic change takes a lot of time to happen and you can't do it alone so collectively these various organizations working together make a bigger impact because it's a collective impact